Hey there, welcome to Eva the Studio. My name is Elizabeth and I'm the um, designer and teacher here. And this is a little, little update of what I've been working on. Um, so this is the end of December, 2023. And so it's a bunch of Christmas things and getting ready for the new year. So um, let's get started and I'll show you what I've been doing. So here's a little finish that I just finished up. And this is a Christmas piece. This is a table runner. So I've used my pattern, the fill in the blanks table runner. And this is a nice pattern that has um, three different options, but it's really nice because it gives you these little um, square pieces in the middle that you can embellish. And so I've done these Christmas embroidery pieces and that is um, the embroidery for my Christmas stitch sampler pattern. So you can see uh, links to both of those below, but this table runner is pretty wide. It's 18 inches wide. So that means, first of all, you could also use this as a bed runner on the end of a bed or um, on a bench or something like that, because it's a bit wider. Um, if it's too wide for your table, I do have a narrower um, table runner pattern that is, uh, I think 12 inches wide, I have to double check. But anyways, it's a si similar thing, it's just narrower because I know this is wide for some tables, but my table is quite wide, so I like the wide table runner. So I'm really happy with how that turned out with all the different um, Christmas designs and it has this blue uh, peanuts fabric on the back, which is kind of cute. Um, so that's what's done for Christmas. I've done a little um, Christmas present sewing, but I cannot share that right now, just in case the recipients happen to be watching this. But some other Christmas things that I've done. Now you've probably seen in other um, studio updates, all the Christmas ornaments. I've been stitching Christmas ornaments it for the whole year, almost all 2023. But of course, I'm not finished yet. I have some more to do. And so I have just a couple other things that I've done. So these are not my patterns. These are ones that I've done from other people. The first one is this little set of little ornaments. And these are made with a tutorial from um, Young Min Lee, who is the woman I went on the Korean textile tour with. So I'll share the link to her tutorial. But I used um, silk fabric that I got on my tour and you can see it's kind of translucent so the light does come through so it, it makes it really pretty hanging on a Christmas tree you can see the lights through it and stuff and there's some movement um, so there's different things you can do with these little ornaments but I'm making them to hang on my Christmas tree and I think they're really cute and I'm really happy with how they turned out the next thing I got a set of these uh, wooden ornaments. So these are actually wood with stitching in it. So the wood comes with holes uh, drilled in it and then you stitch through the holes and then they also have this little felt piece at the back that's just cut to size, you peel and stick it on and so it makes a really nice finish. And so I got the whole set of these. These are um, I guess woodland creatures. There's the bear and the rabbit the fox and the reindeer so these are just so cute and these are actually kits from um, Kariki Press which is a Canadian designer and everything about the pattern is beautiful it comes in this little kit even the packaging is so beautiful it has the instructions it comes with um, needle thread everything so you can just open it up and start stitching right away so I'm going to share the link below um, that's not an affiliate link. I don't get any commission or anything. I just share that because I think it's such a beautiful project. Um, and if you're interested, then they might have more available. It's probably too late for this year, but it's a great project even to work on for next year. So I will share that link below. Uh, the next thing I've been doing is, um, if you've followed along, you've seen a lot of the blocks that I've done for something called Quilt Block Mania. So Quilt Block Mania is a number of quilt designers and every month there's a theme and all the designers make a block 
with that theme. And then they offer that pattern for free during the month of that theme. Now mine, I've kind of uh, pushed the boundaries of the theme a little bit because all my blocks for this year were traditional quilt blocks embellished with hand embroidery. And so I've finished all the blocks now and I've did them all with this green and blue fabric and similar kind of pink embroidery. And so now my blocks are done. I'm going to go and um, put them together into a quilt top. And I'm really excited to see how that's going to turn out. So these blocks are all now, the patterns are available in my shop, but I'm going to be putting together a bundle that has all of them together and it has finishing instructions for if you want to put these um, together into a quilt and I'm putting mine together into a quilt. Now I only started this in, I guess, April. So I only have nine blocks this year. So it'll be a three by three quilt. So that's done, but I've really enjoyed that. So I'm going to continue that um, next year. So next year I'm planning on having 12 blocks and I know what um, a number of them are going to be. And I'm going to be using these colors for mine. So I have these little um, stash builder rolls from Island Boutique and in these purples and then orange and yellow. So I'm going to be using those colors for my blocks. So they'll be a little bit scrappy. It's more than just two fabrics, but it's going to be those colors. And I'm going to be doing um, simple variations of traditional quilt blocks. A number of them are going to have applique and they're going to have embroidery. So there's a lot of um, room for creativity and room to play. So be on the lookout for those. I'm going to put a link below to a page where I will have all the blocks, information about them, and how you can sign up and get them. Um, during the month that it is released, it's available for free. And so for that, you just have to go and sign up on the page and you'll get it. So you can check that page every month. Or the best way, if you don't want to miss it, is to sign up for my email list because I will send out a reminder to say, hey, this is the blog for this month, so go and get it. Um, that's the best way if you want to get it. But these will all be available for free each month throughout the year. So um, if you're interested in stitching along with me, then you can get those. And I'm really looking forward to it. So... Uh, that's about all that I have for today. This is a pretty short little update, but if you uh, celebrate Christmas, have a very Merry Christmas. And um, if you don't enjoy time with your family and friends in whatever you celebrate at this time of year, and I will see you in 2024 with lots of great new quilting, pajagi, and embroidery projects. Have a great day.